Yeah. And we competed together. We we would show up to tournaments together and compete. He'd win the lightweight or he'd win the heavyweights and I'd win the lightweight. He's trained strong men. So we were like the dynamic duo from Oregon. It was cool. Wow, yeah, that's crazy because I didn't really know I know that he has like he calls himself strongman Alex or whatever, but he uh he um uh he, he's been super after, successful with his business. Yeah, and he retired after he tore both his biceps off. He tore both of them off at the exact same time. So he was actually fucking crippled. He had to have somebody wipe his ass for him and feed him every day for weeks. Yeah. You know, that's so, uh, so what what he went through was a lot different than the bicep tears that I had, you know. So yeah, because both at the same both at the same time, I felt really bad for him. I was at that tournament where it happened too. It was really bad. Oh really? Yeah, St. Patty's Day tournament in 2012 or 2013, 2012. Yeah, 2012. 2012 was when it happened, man. He fucking ripped them both off, dude. Bang. Fuck. Were you at that show when uh when that his guy won the the overall for the whole bodybuilding competition up there in uh was that Lincoln City or Newport or something? I think no, you- the only show I came and watched was yours uh last year. So okay, that's the one. So Alex Whitaker's guy won the whole thing. Yeah, so I was there for that, yeah. Yeah, he was the guy that kind of looked like Chris Bumstead. He had like the mustache. Oh, yeah. yeah, 